For what value of c is x minus 3 a factor of the polynomial p of x? And they tell us that p of x is negative x to the third power plus cx squared minus 4x plus 3. So I encourage you to now pause this video and try to figure this out on your own. So the, the remainder theorem tells us that if x minus 3 is a factor, is a factor of p of x, and that's another way of saying that p of x could be written as that p of x could be written as x minus 3 times something else. This is true if and only if, if and only if p of 3, p of 3 is equal to 0. p of 3, let me write p in that, that may be blue, yellow color. This is true if and only if p of 3 is equal to is equal to 0. And this makes complete sense. Because if you put 3, if you evaluate p of 3, we're saying that x minus 3 is a factor of p of x. That means that you could write p of x like this. So if you could write p of x like this, what would p of 3 be? Well, you substitute a 3 right over here. You're going to have 3 minus 3 for this expression. That's just going to be 0 times something else. Anything times 0 is 0. So this should make just, just a lot of common sense. So p of 3 needs to be equal to 0. So let's just evaluate p of 3 and then figure out what c needs to be in order to make p of 3 equal to 0. So let's write this down. So p of, I'll do the 3 in green, p of 3 is going to be equal to negative 3, I'll do it all in one color actually, negative 3 to the third power plus c times 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus 3. So what's this going to be equal to? This is going to be equal to negative 27 plus 9c minus 12 plus 3. So what is that equal to? Let's see, this is negative 12 plus 3 is negative 9 plus negative 27 is negative 36. So this is going to be 9c minus 36. And we remember, we want p of 3 to be equal to 0. This is p of 3, so we want this thing right over here to be equal to 0. So let me make this clear. We have p of 3 is equal to this, and we want to set this to be equal to 0. So let's just solve this equation right over here. So you add 36 to both sides, you get 9c is equal to 36. Divide both sides by 9, you get c is equal to 4. So if c is equal to 4, if this if p of x, if p of x were to be equal to negative x to the third plus 4x squared minus 4x plus 3, then x minus 3 is a factor of p of x.